So next up, the WBC World Youth Super Middleweight title. Kastanov against Da Silva. Kastanov is uh, from Russia, 23 years of age. He's orthodox. And he's managed by Philip Fondu. Uh, gym name is the Dynamo. And he's up against the Silva, who's uh, originally from Brazil, age 23. And he will uh, box either, either way, Southpaw or Orthodox. Jailson Moraes da Silva, Brazil, Stas Kashtanov, Ukraine, Union Boxing Promotion. Supervisor этого поединка, вице-президент всемирного боксерского совета. Well, if you're just joining us, uh, welcome. This is Second Zone of Jalapo, and uh, wherever you are in the world, welcome. We're in the Ukraine, and we are live. Uh, we just had a fantastic first fight there, which was for the WBA Intercontinental Welterweight title. But now up is the WBO Intercontinental. I beg your pardon, the WBC World Youth Super Middleweight title. And this is between Stas Kastanov and Yolson Morai da Silva from Brazil. Both of these guys got very, very good records. So this is a very interesting, very interesting fight because uh, neither of these guys have lost. Kastanov is 21 with 12 stoppages and da Silva is 10 fights with 8 stoppages. Both unbeaten, so something's got to give tonight. Jailson Moraes da Silva. And this is da Silva coming to the ring now. Well, I think he's... Uh, a bit more beat to his entrance music. Unfortunately, it looks like he might have forgot the way to the ring, but I'm sure he's there somewhere. Well, here he comes. Both these guys, 23 years of age. And certainly catching up with more experience, having had 21, 21 fights. Sini Ugolinga. Приглашается чемпион мира среди молодежи по версии WBC представитель Union Boxing Promotion Украина. Дамы и господа, приветствуйте Стас Каштана! Just joining us, this is Stas Kastanov entering the ring any minute now, and uh, he's up against the Brazilian Jolson More da Silva. Both of these, both of these boxers are unbeaten, so this is uh, very interesting. Something's got to give tonight, as I said. And this is for the WBC Youth Super Middleweight title.
Now, certainly a bit more experience on uh, Kachanov's side. He's uh, 21 fights compared to the 10 fights of the silver. Having said that, the, the, the knockout record is uh, somewhat better with uh, De Silva because out of those 10 opponents, he's, he's KO'd eight. So a very high percentage, 80%. Catch it off, though. 21 and 12 knockouts. Both of these uh, have been boxing five years each. And both with ambitions to be champion of the world. It'll be interesting to watch the silver style because he, uh, he says that he can box both orthodox and southpaw. So he's going to be switching, I would imagine, to whatever suits best against his opponent. Каштанов, Union Boxing Promotion. Чемпион мира среди молодежи по версии WBC. Ему 23 года. Живет и тренируется в Донецке. We are live from the Ukraine. This is second act. На протяжении ринге 4 года. Провел 21 бой. Выиграл все. Причем 12 нокаутом. Стас Каштанов. This is going to be Thanks. over ten rounds. If you're looking for your master card. The master card. You're looking. Okay. I I, I put the tape on. Huh? There's more tape. I spoke to both of you in the dressing room. Obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times, give the best you can, shake hands now. Okay? Okay, you ready? Well, catching off with quite a Right advantage here, then undoubtedly also a reach advantage. Rex, ready? Box! And suddenly the bigger frame build. And I think that was apparent in the last in the last fight as well, difference in build. Slightly wild swings by De Silva. There's nothing in those. But the roundhouse back. shots. On, uh, what would we call an arm shot? Complaining to the referee there, but uh, not a good sign. Oh. Well, there we are. Two. Too busy complaining Three. to the referee, and he's Four. taken a, a, a right Five. hand from what I could Six. see. Seven. Eight. And that looks like Nine. his unbeaten record has just Four. gone out the window. Well, a 
I've got to tell you, De Silva was so busy uh, complaining to the referee about an elbow or some infringement that he saw that uh, he took his eye off his opponent, and that was it. It was curtains. We well, certainly De Silva was uh, bouncing around the outside of uh, Kastanov, and the shots he was was throwing in were, to me, appeared to be mostly just arm shots. And it was obvious that what Kastanov had to bring to the ring was a much more solid approach. And certainly within just a few seconds of that first round, that has uh, come to be the case. He doesn't look too great down there, De Silva. I'm sure he's perfectly OK. I think that would have caught him by surprise because having had 10 fights and uh, stopped eight of his opponents. He was the first to attack, but he was still dizzy. It was two good shots from Kastanov. The first right was high, high to the temple, but followed by the left hook. And I don't know whether that's a case of being caught cold, but um, certainly Kastanov oh, was a very good left hook, delivered. Spot on the end of the chin. Uh, they have to refund everything now. The life, uh, uh, the life was uh, six minutes. Five. The life for you. Well, he was certainly caught cold. <laughs> one round and a half and one and a half round. <laughs> I'm sure De Silva's uh, learned one thing, and that's uh, to keep his eye on his opponent and not be moaning to the referee about some infringement that he, he seemed to think had taken place. I certainly didn't see it.